What's up, all you beautiful? Just 60 people out there. Welcome back. I'm Frosty, and I got some Battlefield 4 gameplay for you guys. That's right, Battlefield 4. And today we're going to be talking about PTFO. And if you don't know what PTFO is, get the heck out of here already. Come on, guys. Now, seriously, PTFO are basically playing the motherfucking objective. PTMFO. That's right, PTMFO. Get out there. Play the objective, guys. When you're in any game, when you're in Call of Duty, which doesn't really involve any objective, you just go out there and kill people. Or when you're in Battlefield, you gotta play the objective. I don't want to see you guys. Well, I mean, you can play however you want, of course. If you have fun this way, do it. But if you're in the back of the map, you're sniping people. You're having a grand old time, and you're just picking people off. You're not really helping your team. You just say you're spotting people, which honestly, we all know you're not. You're just trying to get kills. If you're in the back and you're doing that, you're not using your spawn beacon, you're not doing crap. Basically what I think you're doing is you're playing with yourself. You're beating your meat in the back of the map and you need to stop it. It's a public place. Don't do it. Don't whip it out in public. That's a life lesson. Don't whip it out in public. Guide one to have a successful, happy life. Don't whip it out in public. Unless you're, you know, behind a bush or something like that. Even then, don't do it, okay? Just don't do it. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about each class in Battlefield, because this is strictly a Battlefield PTFO. I'm talking about Battlefield, playing the objective in Battlefield. We've all experienced it where people are just hiding around. They don't really go after the conquest points. They don't really do anything. They're just trying to kill people, which is basically what I'm doing right here, except I am trying to clear out the top. And eventually when I realize that there's too many people and I can't clear out the top of D and Delta and then Charlie later I'm getting the heck out of there because I know I'm about to die because there's gonna be too many of them and they're gonna overtake me now let's talk about each class in Battlefield because if you don't know they have specific goals yes that's right it's not just a class in order to have a different type of gun there's actually a reason for an assault class that's right a reason for an engineer class a reason for support and of course there's a reason for recon they all play well together and when you're utilizing them it looks Perfect! We have a team set up, and I wish I had a team that everyone played the objective, but that's never gonna happen. So let's talk about the assault class. Well, how to PTFO in the assault class? Basically, guys, you're like God out there. You're taking lives, you're saving lives, you're being a hero. That's right, you're using that defib, you got that medic kit, and you're just saving lives. That's what that's how I like to do when I'm in salt class, I like to put on my hero. I play a little Enrique and Glacius. I pop in, I can be your hero. I start singing to my teammates, I can be your hero, baby. And you know, I'm just, I'm out there with my defib. I'm taking those pals, I'm rubbing them together, and I'm shoving it into your chest, into your breastuses, and I'm reviving you. I'm saving your life. <laughs> of course, you can also throw out this uh, med kit, help people, revive them, heal them. Be their hero and sing Enrique Iglesias to them to make them feel better about themselves for just dying. You gotta comfort them in their time of need. <laughs> now, there's always, you can either do the salt or you can do the engineer class. And basically, what you're doing as an engineer, you see those people running around in tanks, you see them running around in LAPs, or even the helicopters. You wanna take your rocket, your missile launcher, whatever it is. Maybe it's the straw or whatever it's called. You can take that rocket and you can shove it up that vehicle's ass. That's what you gotta do. They take you out, you give them a nice big ol' helping of rocket up their bum. Help them like that. Now that sounds a little sketchy there, so, you know, don't quote me on that. Unfortunately, don't quote me on that. <laughs> That's what you do as an engineer. Of course, you can place down mines, you can take people out like that. And here, as you can see, I'm showing you guys my classes set up. I have, right now, is the assault class, and then next is my engineer class. So, you can check that out. Check what I'm rolling with most of the time. I switch it up all the time so I can upgrade stuff and all that. I'm nowhere near like the greatest at this game. I don't have everything unlocked because I'm only like a 60 in my ranking or my level. So that's, you can enjoy that, look at that, check that out. And of course, you can also play the support class when you're out there. And we're gonna go over the, how to play the objective as a support class. So, you got your big ass LMG, you're out there running around, you're just laying down the law to people, and you're throwing out ammo packs, all that stuff. You see that? I'm reviving people. I was singing to them. I was telling them, I'm here, baby. I, I just saved you. I saved your life. And you better put out now just because I saved you. So, of course, when you're support, you got to throw out those ammo packs, guys. You got to help your teammates. They need those bullets. You have them. Throw them out. 
Now lately, since I just unlocked C4, I've been throwing out them C4 sandwiches, I've been taking people out, and unfortunately I've also been taking myself out at the same time, which is completely, ugh. I throw C4 out, I throw that C4 sandwich, and I just get annihilated, because I'm a moron. <laughs> of course, you got, you can do whatever you want, basically. The support class is more open. You can do C4, you can do a bunch of other stuff, you can have fun like that, you can just have a grand old time. But I suggest running those C4s, because you can just blow everything up, and you can be a bad mother effer and you can take out tanks you know you you throw the c4 on a tank and then you walk away you pull the trigger and watch the tank go boom so you see here now i'm actually playing the objective i'm on rush on gullman railway or whatever it's called and that dude takes me out so i get revived and i'm gonna come back i'm gonna come back like a bat of hell unfortunately i didn't realize he was dead so i was just shooting at nothing and of course you know i'm gonna light up that MCOM again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, take out that B, and I'm just gonna have a grand old time. Now finally, the class that needs the most help, the class that needs the most help of everyone who plays it, usually, unless you're a running sniper that rolls around and spots people, then you're G, and I appreciate you more than anything, because you're a boss, if you can rush with a sniper, you are just a monster out there on the battlefield. So, most of the time, you guys are just sitting in the back, like I said, and you're beating your meat and jacking off and doing all that stuff. I mean, if, if that's what you want to do in the battlefield, and you want to jerk it in front of all these dudes, it's basically a sausage fest already, go for it. If that's your thing, whatever floats your boat, go for it. But guys, you got your assault class, hook, up us, hook us up with a spawn beacon. Hook us up with spotting. Do something to help us, because you're far away. You're being a little pansy. Help us. Help us. You help us, we'll help you. We'll get all those people that are off your back that are trying to come up behind you, sneak up behind you, and knife you. We'll, we'll take those guys off of you. If you help us, it's it's a system of giving, basically. So that's how you PTFO with everything, with every class. You can be the hero. You can blow crap up. You can do whatever you want. Just play the freaking objective. Get out there, get busy, get dirty, and play that mother freaking objective. <laughs> And I will love you for it, guys. I will love you for it. You'll make me proud. You'll make me a proud Frosty. Now, <laughs> you see here, I'm, I'm trying to take out that MCOM. I had to light it up again because I died and I came back. I was strictly taking out that MCOM. I was going for it. Balls to the wall. Taking it out. Nobody's going to stop me. You see this dude? He's makes the mistake of running right at us. Like, you're in an open field. Dude, you, why would you run at us in an open field? You have to be a moron. You know you're just gonna get gunned down. You're gonna get taken now. And that's it's not good. So you see that I, I took out the MCOM. I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm PTFOing. And then I turn this corner. I see someone was over there. So he was basically gonna be killed by my dude. My partner in crime took him out. And now I'm ready. I see this dude. He's shooting at me and I take him out. And I'm just the guy out there. You see, I die right here because I didn't run Serpentine Patterns like Land of the Lost. So I'll leave you guys with this clip. It's coming to a close. Stay frosty, fellas, and check in later for more of the Frosty, the man, and more Battlefield 4 clips. Enjoy, guys.